Hello everyone. My name is Masashi Takeuchi from Keio University Hospital. I'm the first author of an article and title Technical Feasibility and Oncological Safety of Diagnostic Endoscopic Resection for Superficial Esophageal Cancer. First of all, I'd like to thank GIE for giving us such great opportunity to present our work. In this video interview, I'm going to talk about the overview of our study, especially focusing on the technical aspect of endoscopic resection for clinical M3 to clinical SM2 esophageal cancer. Although esophagectomy is a standard therapy for clinical M3 to clinical SM2 and M0 esophageal cancer, it has high risk of postoperative mortality and morbidity. In the meantime, endoscopic resection is a standard treatment for clinical M1, M2, and M0 disease. It is a safe, less invasive procedure that preserves its further function. Since tomorrow depth assessment accuracy is limited, performing unnecessary esophagectomy in patients with clinical M3 to SM2 disease is possible. Therefore, we hypothesize that active use of ER and its subsequent pathological findings help determine the appropriate esophageal resection extent without any negative impact on outcomes. To test this hypothesis, a single institution retrospective cohort study was performed between 2008 and 2014. During the period, 135 consecutive patients with clinical M3 to SM2 and 0 m 0 primary esophageal cancer were referred to our division. 54 patients with tumor ranks of greater than 5 cm and were distinct clinical TMB SM2 underwent primary esophagectomy. In the meantime, remaining 73 patients underwent primary ER in other words, diagnostic ER. After ER, patients with shallower than pathological M3, negative resection margins, and negative lymphovascular invasion were recognized as curative treated and observed with strict endoscopic surveillance. Of the remaining 59 patients, 32 received curative treatment, including radical esophagectomy and definitive CRT. Now, I'm showing a short video clip demonstrating our advanced ER technique. This patient was male at the age of 74 with circumferential clinical SM1 and M0 esophageal cancer. A slightly depressed type superficial esophageal cancer, price classification 02C of 45 mm in the diameter, was found in thoracic esophagus. After confirming horizontal margin by iodine staining, circumferential markings were made using your knife J. Mucosal incision was started from another side after injection of hypotonic solution. After longitudinal mucosal incision, some mucosal dissection was performed. We sometimes use creep with line method to obtain adequate tissue traction. Finally, the region was resected in a single piece without perforation. ER enables accurate histopathological diagnosis by secure local resection of the region. Let's move on to the major findings of, of this study. There are three major findings in the present study. First, 
Based on our skills of advanced ER, there is no adverse impact of diagnostic ER on short-term or long-term outcomes compared with those of primary esophagectomy. Second, cut resection was achieved in approximately 20% of the patients with clinical M3 to SM2 by year alone. Third, lymphatic invasion and tumor sites were the risk factors for lymph node metastasis. In the meantime, vascular invasion was a significant predictor of OS and DFS in the absence of lymph node metastasis. This study has several limitations, which should be resolved in future studies. First, this is a retrospective single center study, limited to a Japanese study population. Second, ER and surgical treatment results can be affected by hospital volume and training status, especially for high-risk operations such as esophagectomy. Third, regarding the diagnostic accuracy of tumor depths, the sensitivity and specificity could not be examined because not all patients with pathological M3, SM1, and SM2 who received treatment for esophageal cancer in our institute during the study period were included in this study. Host, we performed definitive CRT for clinical T1A, TMB, superficial esophageal cancer for patients who wish for esophageal preservation as an alternative option to esophagectomy, which has been the standard treatment for this stage. Fifth, of all 30 patients with non curative treatment, eight patients who received ER only despite having positive horizontal margins were assigned to non curative treatment groups. In these patients, curative resection actually might be achieved owing to the burn effect of the margins. This may be at risk partly because non curative treatment was not a significant risk factor for deaths and requests in this study. In conclusion, diagnostic ER for clinical M3 to SM2 esophageal cancer with or without subsequent esophagectomy was feasible and safe from not only surgical but also oncological perspective. Approximately 20% of clinical M3 to SM2 and 0 0 patients can potentially avoid undergoing additional treatment including esophagectomy using diagnostic ER.